This building is larger than it looks and it combines accomplishment and success. Azerbaijan State Academy of the Physical Education and Sport is the only university in Azerbaijan specialized in sport. The academy that shaped the Azerbaijan sport since Soviet times has been created in 1930. The main objective of the institute was to train physical education teachers, coaches, organizers of the mass physical education and sport. 39 physical education and sport professionals graduate from this type of higher school in the South Caucasus for the first time in 1933. During the 1933-45 academic year, the academy has trained 422 graduates for sport in Azerbaijan. Graduates of the academy, one of the leading universities in the CIS, have contributed to the sport both in Azerbaijan and USSR. One of such graduates is Hanlar Kurbanov, the president of Azerbaijan National Sport Association and the member of National Olympic Committee. Mr. Hanlar, head of the Department of the Martial Arts, still reminiscent of his memories of arrival to academy. <laughs> When I was a third-year student, I worked as a coach at the Institute of National Economy, named after Dadash Bunyadzade. At that time, the present Ministry of Youth and Sport was called the Sport Committee, and I needed to get a license from the committee to continue my work. One day I was at the Sport Committee applying for my license when Musa Babayev, the four-time Soviet Union champion, stopped to speak to me. I'll never forget that moment. Gurbanov, what are you doing here? he asked. I told him I'd come for a license. For the academy, he asked. I said no, for the Institute of National Economy. Do you want to work with us? I told him it would be a great honor and I would rather work at the Sport Academy than anywhere else. He said, you will get your license. And that's how I came to work at the Sport Academy. After 50s, the institute began to play an exceptional role in the organization and promotion of sport in Azerbaijan. It was an undeniable fact that the success of graduates played an indispensable role in the academy's reputation. From 1955 to 1988, students and graduates of the institute participated in various tournaments and won medals in the USSR national team. In those years, 43 sportsmen performed at the Sam Olympic Games and 24 of them were able to win medals. The control over the development of sports education at the academy was not carried out solely by the Azerbaijan Republic. Professor Hanlar Gurbanov, the director of the Department of Martial Arts, states that all management decisions were made directly by the USSR at that time. When I look back at the time before our country's independence, I would say that everything was driven by Moscow. Our programs were set in stone and we couldn't change them. This didn't only apply to us, it was the same for all republics in the Soviet Union. But there were of course some advantages to the system. For example, the Moscow Scientific Research Institute and Moscow Central Physical Education Institute were able to manage the standard programs across 15 republics. After the first decades of independence, a number of reforms were carried out in the sporting sector, like in other areas. The Azerbaijan State Institute of the Physical Education has not gone beyond these reforms. In 1999, the name of the institute was changed to the Azerbaijan State Academy of the Physical Education and Sport. Over 17,000 specials have been taught in the academy. During the years of independence, Innovative change has taken place in the sports education. As a result of measures, the sports has revived in the country. Compared with the Soviet era, athletes had better facilities and opportunities. Our Soviet era gyms simply could not meet the demands of modern sport. The technical maintenance of equipment was always weak, making it hard to develop strong and successful athletes. There's a world of difference between the old style gyms and those we have today. At the same time, factors such as nutrition have improved beyond measure since independence. As a result of the changes, 
we can finally say that Azerbaijan is a truly sporting country. Students and alumni of the academy represented Azerbaijan at international tournaments. Most of youth who graduate from academy as a trainers, coaches and specialists have started their career as a professional athlete. As a result, Azerbaijani athletes were able to win 22 medals in the Olympic Games held between 1996 and 2018. These medals are 5 gold, 6 silver and 11 bronze. Students studying at the academy participate in 23 international competitions in 2011-2016. In 16 international competitions held in foreign countries, and the academy students competed in the national teams. They have won more than 300 medals in the Olympic and non-Olympic sports, in the World and European Championships. The academy has taken steps to achieve this success to organize the education system. But there were also some barriers on this road. Professor Dilgam Gleb underlined that there were three major deficiencies in the academy. Our main shortcoming was related to the organization of material technical base. We tried to take measures in this direction. Secondly, the academy's financial station was not good. Insufficient funding was an obstacle to the academy's activities and reforms. Third, we have had difficulties with personal potential. During the years of independence, the number of female students has also increased. In the period of 1946-1952, 219 women graduated from the academy. Women alumni such as Zeynab Razayeva, Sara Aliyeva, Emina Norullah, Sima Demirova, Ülkar Qasimova were awarded with the title Honorable Physical Trainer. During the years of independence, the number of female students has also increased. At present, more than 3.5 500 students are studying at the academy. The number of girls studying at the academy reached 280. Girls are not allowed to engage in sport is a problem in Azerbaijan. Even this is disease. But now, our girls are engaged in boxing, football and other sports. Actually, I don't support the fact that our girls are engaged in some sports like boxing. In general, the admission to girls' sports academy has increased fivefold compared to the past. After 2015, sports achievement in Azerbaijan have increased. The results of the tournaments where the graduates and students of the academy participate gives reason to think. In the first European Games, in which more than 10,000 athletes from 50 countries participated, Azerbaijan was only behind Russia, according to the number of medals. In 2016, 129 students from 54 departments of the academy competed in the international competition. Students have won 41 gold, 23 silver, and 37 bronze medals by participating in international and world championships. The 75 medals were from Olympic, while 26 medals were derived from non-Olympic sports. In 2016, 278 students of the academy participated in the national team squad. In the first Islamic Solidarity Games in 2017, Azerbaijan ranked first in the medal table with 75 gold medals. Our country won 8th place with 4 gold medals in the first Islamic Solidarity Games in 2005 and the 6th place in the third Islamic Solidarity Games in 2013 with the 6 gold medals. Academy started to implement reforms after 2015. One of these issues was to improve sport education. Thus, academy staff visited countries like Russia, Turkey, Belarus to study international experience in the field of sport education. Reforms began in the academy since 2015 are both technical and educational. Volleyball, basketball and other teams were repaired. Additional buildings such as multimedia center and scientific laboratory have been constructed in the academy for the development of sport education. Azerbaijan'da böyle bir deyim var. Sehbet müremse böyle seslenir. Göründüğün kim ol. We have a saying in Azerbaijan. What you see is what you get. So my goal is that the Azerbaijan State Academy of Physical Education and Sport produces results that are worthy of what we see around us today. Modern new facilities have been built, including the media center and scientific educational laboratory. 
educated and experienced teachers are leading our programs. It's incredible to see the difference at the academy. And that difference is just as remarkable on the inside. In 2017, four bachelor and three master programs were created. It was inevitable to apply for an experience in improving the education system. Program directors of the master's specialities such as sports journalism, sports medicine and rehabilitation, sports management are foreign experts. According to Firat Hussainov, the dean of the Department of Training and Physical Preparation states after changing the authority of academy, new rector Fuat Hajiyev appealed to the cabinet of ministers. The aim was that there is a need for improvement of the education system and the creation of the new specialties. The creation of new programs in the field of sport was a demand of our time. It happened in 2017. Their establishment in the academy was permitted in 2017. But when we created programs, we did not benefit from the experience of the academy. We have been in foreign countries like Turkey, Slovenia, and so on, and observe the practice there. We have reviewed the experience of Cologne University in Germany. Finally, we were able to create new programs based on this experience at the academy. Azerbaijan is a sporting country. Various international tournaments are organized in our country and our athletes represent Azerbaijan as international arenas and win medals. But at the organization of the sports tournaments and taking medical support to our athletes, they are applying to foreign professionals. At the same time, it should be borne in mind that sports journalists are not fully qualified to cover the sport of Azerbaijan. Because of all reasons, it was so important to create these three programs. Without ignore of the work of sports journalists, I would like to say that the activities of journalists should be highly specialized. I think that all sports journalists should know enough sports terminology, anatomy, teaching and training methods. Because in a usual case, the journalist applies the terms when working on program and projects. Journalists make mistakes when they don't know terms well. Because of these errors, programs don't come up with quality. Therefore, this necessitated the creation of sports journalism as a specialty. All sorties frequently come to the academy to get acquainted with the conditions created. According to the official persons, these conditions created at the academy have a great potential for the development of quality and competitive specialists. The Minister of Education of Republic of Azerbaijan, Ceyhun Bayramov, who visited the academy, highly appreciated the activities carried out and the activities of the sports journalism. Very nice. The interest in the academy will grow further when your students and graduates succeed in their professional activities. You will also feel it. At present, there is a need for qualified sports journalists in our country. Good luck. Reforms and reconstruction have also affected the reputation of the academy. There is a great difference between the previous view and the present view of the academy in society. The vice rector of the academy, Tahmina Tarzada, is a part of the team that has been able to change the way of thought. It changed dramatically, I have to say. First of all, it changed in my own eyes because when, when I was uh, invited here, it was quite challenging. It was quite challenging, you know, when I walked into academy and uh, uh, I just imagined that I will be working here. Um, uh, I have a medical background, you know, I worked in different uh, settlements and uh, um, it was quite, quite challenging for me to come here for different purposes and one of the purposes, all my friends told me, really, sports academy, really, and it was very challenging for me, I told people, you cannot see, think about the place where I work in such a way because we are doing great things, you know, and now when we started to... Um, to eliminate the stigma. I'm so happy about that, you know. 
academy is now struggling to raise the level of education. The formation of a strategy to understand the academy's philosophy as well as the sports was a key issue. To take steps in this direction, academy's innovative team started with her first acquaintance with the academy. I went to the uh, uh, study rooms and talked to the uh, first grade students who just entered the university. I talked to students who was uh, already um, almost graduated from university, fourth, fourth grade. And uh, the, my question uh, was that why? Why did you choose Sports Academy? And the way they uh, replied, it made me really sad. The majority of them, they told that we just need diploma. We just need diploma to uh, get further career in, uh, like, in Minister of Internal Affairs, in some, um, you know, like, um, Minister of Defense or um, other uh, uh, other entities like that, you know. It was not easy to carry out these measures to improve the academy. That is, the innovative team has made a radical change in the academy. There were also many difficulties on the way. Even Tahmina Tarzada says that all the professions were more innovative in comparison with young people. They were more enthusiastic about implementing reforms. The academy still has plans and targets. One of the goals, one of the goals or strategy to improve academic stuff in, uh, in our academy, okay? So, for example, in uh, sports management and rehabilitation, we already selected two uh, students who will continue after graduation of master degree uh, program. They will continue with the uh, UCL, uh, uh, with a PhD program. And we have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of plans, including infrastructure as well, because the number of students is increasing. We need some some more funding to to uh, establish new buildings and all those kind of things. This reforms and change in the academy will have a strong impact on the future of Azerbaijan sport. Since its inception, the academy has been a point of change in many athletes, coaches, and teachers' lives. After that. Academy will eliminate Azerbaijan sport as a torch.